God bless you, everybody. Hope everybody's doing all right. I'm not going to be before you too long. I just want to tell you about this dream that I had a couple days ago. And the reason why um, I didn't speak on it a couple days ago is because I didn't have all of the interpretation. The dream is like in two parts. The first part is uh, more just uh, a story being told to me. Um, the second part is I'm just seeing a picture. And like I said, I didn't get the full interpretation until uh, now because, um, you know, sometimes during worship, when you're worshiping, things just become clear and God just drops things in your spirit. So I wasn't even asking God about the dream or anything. He just dropped it in. Um, but the first part of the dream, it basically no interpretation needed. And then the second part was what God just dropped into my spirit. So. Um, the dream goes like this. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm asleep and God, and God is just speaking to me about, uh, you know, a parable. It's just like a story. So, um, and what he was saying was that there was a man, he went out, uh, to the field and he harvested his crop. He harvested his crop and, um, and it was an ex it was an expected crop, you know. You sow, you know, let's say wheat seed. You, you're expecting wheat to come up, and um, he got a he got a harvest, and it was a good harvest. He was happy with the harvest, but he went back out later on. I don't know if it was that day or a week later or whatever, but he went back out and realized there was a whole nother second crop that came up. And it was just said, it is a bumper crop. It is a bumper crop. Um, then the second part of the dream, and this is the part I needed, you know, the interpretation for. The second part of the dream, there was a, um, I was looking at a field and I was looking at this huge crop circle, looking at this huge crop circle. And um, that was the end of that dream. Um, so... The first part of the dream is uh, very self-explanatory. Um, God is just saying that, you know, you, you those of you ha that have sowed, those of you that have put out, you know, uh, put out your time, put out your, your, your giving, um, put out love, kindness, um, you were there for people. Those of you that have, um, you know, just sacrificed, you've been long-suffering, um, you, you've been, you, you can even sow obedience. God have told you to do some things that are not necessarily, you know, that easy to do. And you sowed and God is, is saying that, you know, he's, he's seen it and, um, you are going to reap, um, what you sowed, but not, um, just not in the capacity that you you're thinking it's like it's going to be so much more than what you could ever even imagine you're going to be thinking oh it's over with um I, you know i reaped it and god is going to say um no that's not it you know it's just going to be something that's just going to keep on um uh, uh keep on giving um and it's just going to shock and surprise you so that's the first part of the dream. Like I said, that you, you know, you really don't need to try to interpret that. That's just, you know, obvious of what God is saying. Um, but the second part, you know, I couldn't figure out for the life of me what God was saying about a crop circle. You know, I'm like, God, you trying to tell me about aliens or something? Like, what, what is going on with this crop circle? Um, not saying that that's how they're formed i don't know that's a different subject for a different day i don't, I don't know nothing about it but so i'm like what are you trying to say god because you know i don't really see that in the bible i don't really see anything about a crop circle or anything like that and i always try to go back to the bible to try to figure out um what these dreams mean and the only thing that i could think that was even um the opposite i went to the opposite of what this looked like in the bible and from that i could kind of piece together um what god was saying or make sense of what god was saying and um the opposite of where you see this 
a circle is the scripture that says um if you sow to the wind you'll reap a whirlwind and that is you know that scripture is meaning i believe it's in hosea that scripture means that you know you are just sowing to the wind like you are just um you're not paying attention to your life you're not paying attention to um the will of god you're just doing what you want to do in order to get where you want to get so basically it's just like well you're just sowing to the wind because it's going to come of nothing and uh, what it's really going to come become of is um destruction because if a whirlwind comes I, when i hear whirlwind i think of a tornado if a, if a tornado comes you there's going to be mass destruction and so that would be the opposite of what i was seeing which was a, a a uniform uh crop circle so the opposite of that the opposite of that is that you would sow um that you would sow good things and some of you have sold patience and kindness and love and yes even money you gave you've given you've done um you've been long suffering you've sold so much goodness and kindness into the world that god has said you done sold yourself into a circle god has said the stuff that you have sold is coming right back around to you and so this is what the circle means is that you know the negative of that would be you have sold um you have you have sold to the whirlwind where there's no uniformity that everything is just will be out of place and all crazy but a circle is um it's basically that saying is that w w which what goes around comes around and so you don't win you don't win around and so goodness and kindness into the world you've shown the love of jesus and now it that that same stuff that you have been sowing that same positivity that you have been sowing is now coming back around again into a circle and some of you may have sowed to the point where you felt like it, it was you were just sowing into the wind you weren't doing it just to get something in return but it was just like wow you know all the goodness that you've put out that not, not that you're sitting there keeping account some of the things that you have done you don't even remember some of the things, some of the goodness, some, some of the things that you have done, some of the goodness, the love, the kindness, and yes, even the financial things that you have given, you're not even keeping account to it. But there are times where you're just like, does anyone see, you know what I mean? Like, does anyone see that, you know, that you keep giving and giving and giving? And I just want to tell you and encourage you that God has seen it. And, and he has said, and he has said that you have sold yourself into a circle basically you have sowed to the point where it is a it, 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 the heart the harvest is a crop circle basically saying that you have sowed and you have sowed and you have sowed to the point where it is coming back around to you and is not going to be coming around to you in in a, in a form where um uh, I, I'm just going to use dollars because that's the easiest thing. But you guys know I mean love, kindness, and everything else that can be given. Um, but it's not going to come around to you the same way you put it out. It's going to be a bumper crop. It's going to be a double harvest. It's 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 not going to be okay. I sold a dollar. I'm getting a dollar back. It's not going to be like that. It's going to be so much more than what you thought that it could possibly be. And also the scripture that comes to mind and it's said so many times so many times to the point where people have made it seem like so cliche but i couldn't make this dream up if, if i tried and the fact that you know people say that that it, you know it's an alien that landed on the um I'm, I'm saying it is or ain't you know i'm just but in my, you know i'm just saying that people say that it's an alien that land a, a spaceship that land on it on the crop circle that presses down the crop it presses down the wheat so it becomes compacted and so the scripture that comes to mind is that famous scripture that everybody quotes that it's pressed down like that blessing is coming pressed down shaken together and running over i'm paraphrasing but it's coming pressed down 
it's going to it's going to be you ever see something that you know when you go to the store and it's saying concentrated you know that that you only need a little bit of that stuff because it it, it, it is so concentrated it is so um, uh, um just you know it's not the normal stuff i'm thinking about dishwashing <laughs> liquid or laundry detergent it says concentrated it means that you know you can you could even mix it uh with water you know you use a little bit like even have it like concentrated um juice you you could you could cut it with water because it's so concentrated and so rich god is saying that is what it that's what it is going to be with you that's what it's going to be with you is that it's going to be super concentrated whatever this blessing or whatever it is that you done sold <laughs> whatever it is that you done sold you know what i mean I, and i'm even thinking about what comes what comes to mind is that those times where other people were being blessed and you when other people were being blessed and you it blessed you that they were blessed when other people were being blessed when every when everyone was getting your getting basically the dream that you had in your heart you were ha genuinely happy for them and god is saying that those the things that you desired the things that you have desired and you basically you sowed you were happy for people when when um good things happened to them and you prayed for people and you went in when bad things happened to them you didn't sit there and be like ha ha that's what you get you know ha ha, ha like, misery love company you know i ain't got no bodies and now you ain't got nobody you know you wasn't like that you was you you got in there with that person and you and you were um you were a confidant you know and all that stuff all that stuff that you've put out all the giving all the time that you spent and you took out you know it could be anything it could be anything it could be your own kids it, it could be you know all the giving that you've give, given to your kids or even the things that you've done on work your profession where you went out your way you ain't had to stay um extra and help that person or whatever it was god is saying that this is the time when you done sold yourself in a circle and it's coming right back to you and and you half the stuff you ain't you didn't even keep account you just did it you didn't tell anybody you just did it because you had the love of christ within you and because you wanted to do it all those times when you went in the store and you paid for somebody's groceries or you you know you paid it for it and stuff like that you know people think oh that's just you know whatever little stuff and da, da, da. you think god don't pay attention to that you're just like the man cornelius i, I believe it's cornelius in the bible um where it says that his uh his, his giving had went up before god as a, as a like a memorial that went up before god you think that god don't see that the stuff that you've been doing that that hasn't gone up before him that he hasn't seen it god is not mocked what you sow you shall reap and so you know i don't know but i just I, I just, you know, well done to to those who have, you know, sold and not sold to get something. God, you know, God know, God know if you sold out of your, you know, you sold because that's just who, you know, that's just who you are, you know. God knows the difference. So, 